You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my reaction and commentary for Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now, before we get into this film, make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my latest videos. One of the biggest franchise holes in my viewing experience is the Harry Potter franchise. Now, I have seen the first three films at some point in my life. However, I hardly remember anything from the films I've seen. I, of course, know of Harry Potter, know of some of these characters because, well, it's pretty much a ubiquitous franchise in the pop culture landscape. However, I just watched The Secrets of Dumbledore and I have watched all three of the Fantastic Beasts films in theaters. And, well, it's been a mixed bag. <laughs> But I love the first Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them film. I got my little, you know, Fantastic Beasts theme shirt here. After fully getting more Dumbledore in those films, I really sat down and said, you know what, I need to go back and watch the Harry Potter films. And what better way to do that than right here on the channel. So technically, these first three are going to be commentaries as much as they are reactions. And then the fourth film all the way through to the end of the series will be first time watch it. So I'm excited and a little bit nervous in case I don't love it any more than I used to, but I'm going into this with a fresh set of eyes, a new lens ready to enjoy the series. I didn't really grasp on. I don't know why, because fantasy is quite literally my jam. Like that is number one for me, fantasy. So I don't know why as a, as a kid, I just didn't care. I tried to read the book. I tried to watch the movies and they just did nothing for me. And I was like, bye. So that'll be the question, right? Without that nostalgia, hmm? is it going to be as impactful for me? Plus we have all the controversies with Ms. Rowling herself. And we're just going to push those to the side because, well, HBO Max already has my money. So, yeah, I'm ready to share this journey with you and hope you're ready to come along. Now, I got, I got my little slurp slurp here. Got the beverage ready for our viewing experience. Also going with these new Very Berry Jolly Rancher gummies. Gelatin free. So I'm prepared to enter this magical wizarding world. So, without further ado, let's hit that play button. Ooh over two and a half hours okay i didn't realize we jumped off with harry potter movies being this damn long <laughs> what's going on here also wasn't this named something different in other countries other than harry potter and the sorcerer's stone i think it's still a stone right but it, it got a different name did the books also get a different name in other countries or was it just this movie Sir, this is vandalism. People need to see as they're walking and driving through the streets, sir. It's a residential neighborhood. We need that street light. Good evening, Professor <gasps> Dumbledore. Now listen. Y'all know I love, love her. No, sir. Little tight fell asleep just as we were flying over. Now, why is this very large man on that tiny little motorcycle? Try not to wake him. You really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. Well, ma'am, that's racist. He has. The, the Hagrid? It's not really goodbye after all. Sir, you've known him like, what, a couple of days? Maybe a week or two at most? How small that child is? Can't be that attached now, Hagrid. Come on. Ma'am. What's wrong with this woman? Not them put <laughs> He really in this little cubby. He can't even roll over. Wake up, Cocker! We're going to the zoo! Now you see. 
Then they want to act shocked. When I hop up out that cub, be a what? Want to be shook. I'm the bad guy, huh? Happy birthday, boy. Happy birthday, son. I guess it's a little shady to smack a boy on his birthday. Petunia. You know what? Professor McGonagall, come on back. I, say, I take it back. You weren't a racist. They're white, first of all, so we good. But these two, they need to be read to filth. Time to bring out Countess up in her. Oh, no. Not the snake speaking the English. <laughs> Boy, you better snatch that up. Tuck it away. Don't let them see that. <sighs> see, should have never let him see that letter in the first place, Harry. What's wrong with you? Anything I had, I'll keep it away from these buffoons. So you don't want to get your own mail now either? Is that what it is, sir? These owls about to bust the door in. <laughs> See, Albus? McGonagall told your ass. She told you. This is not it. These are the worst of the worst. Don't leave his ass here, because now look, you ain't never getting him back the way they're behaving. Then took him to some damn who knows what in the middle of the ocean. Oh. Oh, y'all thought y'all was slick in this little lighthouse, didn't you? This is what happens when you run from the owls. We have to take more drastic measures. You know that ain't right. That ain't right. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone. Unless you'd rather stay, of course. No. I've been here, what, 10 minutes with these folks in this film? I'm ready to go. Yeah. Deuces. Fearful of fascinating subject. Not that you need it, eh, Potter? <laughs> okay, sir, we can't have the professors and teachers fangirling over the students now. You gotta be the professor. Okay, but this boy ain't got no money. Is it his fame gonna make the purchases? Oh. Are bats allowed? I didn't see bats on the registry. How am I to pay for all this? Yeah, well, I'm saying. I'm saying. I mean... What? Do I need to go to the magic world? Do they just hand out money? Is that what the bank does? Just literally give you money? Okay. Wait a minute. Got it here somewhere. Oh. Okay, I see. I see. There was, there was a trust There's fund. A Potter is a trust fund baby. Okay. Well. Didn't think your mom and dad would leave you with nothing, though, did you? He didn't know him. Seven, How was seven, he to know? Eight. They could have been poor as dirt. Can't tell you, Harry. Best not to mention this to anyone, Harry. And why is that, Hagrid? Hmm. Why don't you run along there and wait? I just got one more thing I got to do. Won't be long. Hmm. 
Hagrid be sneaking around too damn much in this little alley. No, no, definitely not. No matter. Sir, don't we have like a a, a test room? What? It is curious that you should be destined for this one when its brother gave you that scar. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Wow. Oh, baby. Well, maybe she wrote it down. No, I can't spell it. <laughs> I like that that's it's cute. Oh. Oh, oh they saying the name out and about right off the bat in the first movie. Imagine just being a normal person seeing that. What in the world? Oh, okay. Don't try that at home, kids. I mean, I'll get a laugh out of it if you do try it uh, in public like that. But for your for your own head, your own safety, uh, I'd suggest against it. Now, why do we have flying motorcycles? But straight up like old coal engine style trains. You doing magic? Let's see them. Oh, okay, girl. And you are um Ron Weasley. Pleasure. Each of them is changing to robes. Well, hello, wizard of color up in her. Okay. Look like homie from. Uh, how to get away with murder. I watched the first two seasons, but um Wes. Wes is awarded the house cup. Well he doesn't have a house yet, so I guess no point lost. Sorry. We had to save Trevor, ma'am. This is Crab and Goyle. And I'm Malfoy. Now, who the hell is named Goyle? Oh, Lord. And a hand me down robe? You must be a Weasley. No. Soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. Excuse you, sir. Making friends with the wrong sort. Mr. Filch has asked me to remind you that the first floor corridor. See. Thank you. Don't you eat or drink nothing you get from that Mr. Filch. I don't trust him. I don't like it. <laughs> well, that's how I'm gonna start clapping. Draco Malfoy. Ronald Weasley. <laughs> what kind of order is this, though? Can we go alphabetical or something? Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Better be Gryffindor. Let the feast begin. Okay. I guess that's one way to keep the school budget in check, huh? Just whoop, lunch is served. And that also means, though, if it's that nasty ass school lunch that's slopped being put down on plates, we know y'all did that on purpose now. Hello. How are you? Sir. Welcome to Gryffindor. Oh no. You know what? I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna have to go back. Get me back to the train. I ain't playing this. No, no, no. How can you be nearly headless? Like this. <laughs> well, she asked. Oh, hell no. We're gonna have to put elevators or something in here. I am walking up all these stairs. Are you out of your mind? Ooh. Late for class on the first day? There will be no foolish wand waving or silly incantations in this class. Not the dramatic, sir. Then again, 
Maybe some of you have come to Hogwarts in possession of abilities so formidable that you feel confident enough to not pay attention. He's writing notes. Our new celebrity. Uh oh. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? <laughs> she already got the answers. Okay, we got we got a little sprinkling of color, I guess, amongst these little recruits in here. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I'm looking majority white, but there's a sprinkling. There's a sprinkling. Good afternoon, class. Madam Hooch. Welcome to your first drawing lesson. Oh. Mr. Long. Mr. Long. Mm, so, what for you, Long Bottom? Now, come on, let's get real with it. He's flying to the ground. It's over for Long Bottom. Death at the school. These kids are pretty good at flying for day one training. Oh. I'm gonna go about to get your ass, Harry. Harry Potter? Follow me. <laughs> well. I have found you a seeker. Oh. Seeker. He wasn't even in trouble? Are these ghosts? Oh, I thought it was just a celebration. They just be chilling here year round. And for what? What is the reason for these staircases like to be acting up on folks? Somebody had to put magic on it. Why did they do this? Mm -mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, y'all need to go. Let's hide through that door. Over. Hello, Mora. She said, "Get the hell out of my way." Hello, Mora. Stunning book of spells, chapter seven. Anyone here, I think. Oh, sir. Come on. Okay. Oh. Maybe he's nice. Oh, maybe he's mean. Either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Or worse. <laughs> okay, ma'am. She needs to sort out her priorities. Guardian Leviosa. Stop, stop. Oh, stop. Lord, sir, you're please. Going to take someone's eye out. <laughs> Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. Oh, hey girl. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. Oh. I think she heard you. <sighs> Poor girl. Oh, is it Halloween time? Okay. Oh, is this just trick or treat street, like Hogwarts style? Said that she'd been in there all afternoon, crying. Jabron. Turn around in the dungeon. Uh, Professor, there was a more tactical way to handle this instead of causing panic. Also, isn't he the defender of dark arts? Everyone Why is he freaking out, Not sir? How are you supposed to defend against dark arts when you're passing out like this? Prefects, 
to lead our house back to the dormitory. Oh damn, they found that troll real quick. Let's go into the girl's bathroom. Oh no, Hermione girl. I hope you have your wand ready. Oh. All right. Yeah, it's like, girl, what did you think that was going to do? Hey, pay oh. Girl. Yeah, no, no. Help. Oh. Go, run, run. He's all distracted. Ooh, woo, Ness. I agree. Hold them ears. Hold the ears. Good job, Ron. Cool. Harry's Potter's glasses must be magic, though. He was flopping all over, and them peppies stayed put now. Looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. It was an extremely foolish thing to do. Oh? I would have expected more rational behavior on your part, mm. and I'm very disappointed. Five points will be awarded to each of you for sheer dumb luck. What's wrong with this professor? Take a bit of toast, mate. Go on. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. Even if it is against Slytherin. Oh? He said, my house is coming for the gauntlet, Harry. What you gonna do, sir? So he could try and get past that three-headed dog. I know she's a little girl. Why didn't Hermione just say I was locked up here in the bathroom crying? I didn't feel well, and I was in the bathroom, and they came to save me. Not that you went to fight the troll. I wonder what it could be. Ron, come on now, child. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a limbus too. Oh. These teachers are shady <laughs> over here at Hogwarts. Ma'am. Maggie Smith, leader of House Gryffindor. Is that why she over here giving folks these expensive old nice gifts? So they win the cup? I don't really remember. I'm, I'm going to forgive it. Some of the CGI is real spotty out here. Real spotty. Looking like a little PlayStation game, like PS1, um, in here in the Quidditch. But this was what 2000 that this came out, so we don't forgive it. Meanwhile, did anybody else's college have like Quidditch teams or like Quidditch uh, leagues? I guess I don't know if it was just a league or if we just had a team. The, the, the seeker who catches the snitch ends the game. So what's the time limit, though? That's what I need to know, is what's the time limit? Because if the whole point is only to catch the golden snitch, what's the point of getting points here by throwing that quaffle through the rings? And is it possible for a team to get like 160 points just on their own without the golden snitch and still win? These are my questions. Oh, he said not today, sir. Oh, Lord! I'm sure he's a, a nice person. A nice young person. But we gotta do something about them teeth. Okay, no, that was actually a PlayStation person. That was a PlayStation person. She did not exist. 
Not these sound effects. Ooh, Gryffindor whooping that ass right now. All right, teeth. Let's go then. How about that? I like how they didn't give no excited old commentary. Ten points for Slytherin! Like, no, they they just skipped over homegirl giving that announcement. Oh, Harry, eyes forward. <gasps> oh, Snape, sir. Oh, okay, Hermione. What you gonna do, little girl? Come on, Hermione. <laughs> I can't with little baby. How how to get away with murder right there? to the damn little ball. What you doing? All this beating and banging for what? So watch. What? <laughs> oh, sir! The heat. Not Harry winning the game by eating the damn golden snitch, y'all. Not him taking the credit like he did that on purpose. Come on now, Harry. Pass up. Actually, they all saw you just throw it up. So, I hope we have several snitches to go through. We're gonna need a lot of disinfectant for that mess. Lots of disinfectant. What that dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. No, we just jumping from season to season. I mean, I guess, I mean, technically this could be October, but there's the tree. This is what Halloween actually does usually look like. Sure, but. For information on Nicholas Flamel, look a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. Oh. Happy Christmas. Oh. Hermione. Okay, girl. I still what happened to Goody Chew and Shoes? Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. I'm just glad they don't force children to go back home uh, for the break. Harry gets to stay here. Doesn't have to stay with that terrible family for the Christmas time. Oh, ominous Christmas card. <laughs> well, let's see them. Put it on. Okay. Whoa. It just said, use it well. Wear it well. Oh, no. <laughs> Harry. Oof. Show yourself. Oh. Nasty in this one, too. <laughs> that cat got you on lock, Harry. Oh. oh, my. It's still hot. That means the student's out of bed. Oh, he's nasty. Filch. Oh, the folks in the mirror respond. <laughs> they hear and react. Hmm. Bloody hell! And Quidditch captain too. What a good one, Harry. Let's go. Do you think this mirror shows the future? Both my parents are dead. Shows you what you want to see. Biggest desires. So then it 
shows us what we want. Whatever we want. Yes. And no. No? It shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our heart. Oh, I wonder if Dumbledore sees like a, a happy life with him in Grindelwald. Or they stayed on the same mission, <laughs> didn't diverge in paths, and let's just live this glorious life together. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? <laughs> I checked this out weeks ago. Forbidden light reading. Forbidden light reading. <laughs> Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, what? Which will make the Draco immortal. Immortal? It means you'll never die. I know what it means. <laughs> well, is she really that existence. wrong for assuming you did it wrong? Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist, who last year celebrated his 660th oh. birthday. Oh, my. Of course, there are other things defending the stone, aren't there? Spells, enchantments. That's right. Waste of bloody time with you. <laughs> Ain't no one going to get past Fluffy. Uh, okay. What exactly is that? Oh. Hello, dragon. See, I do not remember dragons being a part of Harry Potter in the slightest, y'all. I am all about that dragon life. I do not remember this little dragon. Fifty points will be taken. Fifty each. Who? Oh. And to ensure it doesn't happen again, all four of you will receive detention. Excuse me, Professor. Perhaps I heard you wrong. I thought you said the four of us. No, you heard me correctly. You will join your classmates in detention. <laughs> Stupid. Auditor on detention will find you hanging by your thumbs in the dungeons. You see how he is? Oh, miss the screaming. No. Um... You'll be serving detention with Hagrid tonight. No wonder they picked this man for Wilder Frey. He is vile. I thought y'all couldn't go to the dark forest. Oh, good God, man, you're not still on about that bloody dragon, are you? <gasps> Norbert's gone. Dumbledore sent him off to Romania to live in a colony. Well, that's good, is it? Oh, okay, well, they didn't, they didn't kill him. Mind. Yeah, but what if he don't like Romania? What if the other dragons are to him? Forrest, I thought that was a joke. You're a Go joke. More than werewolves in those trees, lad. You can be sure of that. Oof. Night and night. Turn this filch into the forest. I can't. Oh, nasty. What is that? Hagrid, what is that? Yes, please. See that? What are we here for? What? Found one dead a few weeks ago. I thought that'd be a little bit more rainbow esque, darling. Oh, is that the unicorn? Oh, what the hell? Oh, are unicorns like common here? Are they like endangered? What the hell is this? Oh. Okay. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. Oh. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death. Well, of course he was interested in Fluffy. How often do you oh, Hagrid. Dog, even if you're in the trade. But I told him, I said, 
I said, the trick with any beast is to know how to calm him. Take Fluffy, for example. Just play him a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. Oh, Hagrid. I should have told you that. Where are you going? Where are you <sighs> The worst secret keeper in all the land, Hagrid. This is about the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh. Someone's going to try and steal it. And with Dumbledore gone. Who? Oh. <laughs> now, what would three young Gryffindors such as yourselves be doing inside on a day like this? People will think you're. Up to something. Up to something. <laughs> the Trificus Totalis. Did she just petrify him? Brilliant. It's the best combination, if you ask me. <laughs> Does it wear off, or you gotta come back and unpetrify him, Hermione? Does she hear the music? Oh, well, sign is jump in now. Oh! Yeah, like that don't look like a bird. What is that? One of them fits that door. Oh, looks like it's time to put your writing skills back to use, Harry. I don't know. There's no graveyard. What is it? It's a chessboard. Oh. Alright, Ron, it's your time to shine. As for me, I'll be a knight. <laughs> Alright, Ron. You're gonna have to brush up on the game. Come on now, Ron, what you got? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Ron! She didn't like no, slice no. it in half. Don't forget. Take care of Ron. Then go to the Owlery. Send a message to Dumbledore. You. Who? No, it can't be. I see myself holding the stone. But how do I get it? Oh. oh. Come here, Potter. Now. Oh, the dramatic. Sir, please. What is it? What do you see? I've won the house cup. Tell the truth! What do you see? Oh. Master, you are not strong enough. I expect enough of this. Oh my, what? No! Keep the wrap on! Look at those nails, child. What's going on? <gasps> Damien! Damien, is that you? We meet again. Oh my. Unicorn blood can sustain. Oh. But it cannot give me the body of my own. Oh. Would you like to see your mother and father again? <laughs> Oh, I thought he was like, I'll send you on out of Earth to go meet him. Ooh, this is weird. Put the head wrap on, sir. I can't handle this. So wait, if this man dies, this... How does Voldemort keep living? Oh, I guess my question is being answered right before my eyes. Oh, 
what the hell is Voldemort going to defeat him if... Like, Harry just touching him every time and screws his ass up. Twice now, all he did was touch Harry Potter and it was over with. What happened to down in the dungeons between you and Professor Quirrell is a complete secret. So, naturally, the whole school knows. <laughs> the stone has been destroyed. Oh. And Nicholas and I have had a little chat. Ah, oh, I'm afraid. There are ways in which he can return. Do you know why Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him? Mm -hmm. it's because of Let me hear it. She sacrificed herself for you. And that kind of act leaves a mark. So love killed the professor. Bertie I can't with that. Slytherin house. <laughs> However, recent events must be taken into account. Oh. And finally, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies. I award ten points to Neville Longbottom. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I know this cup system is real shady. <laughs> These professors just be handing out points like chocolate candy. Come on now. Oh, cheating ass Dumbledore. <laughs> and poor little children are slithering. <laughs> Can we find somewhere else for Harry to be? Has he really got to go back to that hot ass mess house? You could always um, threaten him with a nice pair of ears to go with that tail of his. But Hagrid, we're not allowed to do magic away from Hogwarts. You know that. I do. But your cousin don't, do he? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Did any of y'all go to boarding school like this where you were just gone the whole year for school? That would be horrible to me, but at this age, nah. I'll go for the day and come the hell home. Okay. All right. Well, that was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And I feel like I did appreciate it a little bit more this time around. Now, I remembered that Snape wasn't actually evil. He just kind of gave off creeper vibes. But I totally did not remember that Voldemort was chilling on the back of the homeboy's head like, yeah, if you have not watched Malignant from last year, they they certainly took a little bit of inspiration, I'd say, from the end of here. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, that was a fun little time. It was really character driven, I would say. It was a lot about spending time with our main trio. And obviously, a lot of world building. This film was full of the Hogwarts world building and just kind of building up that lore. I'm definitely looking forward to jumping in and checking out the next film. So that was my reaction to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on all of my latest videos including each and every one of my reactions for the entire Harry Potter franchise. Also, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. What were your thoughts when you first watched this film and have they evolved any over the years? Let me know either in the comment section or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.